everyone, it's Kevin and this is a galaxy type piece I made in Blender 3D with Grease Pencil. If you've seen my how to deal with a layoff video, this is that same piece I was working on in the background but I wanted to update it so this is a revised version. I've been doing a lot of fun scenes lately so I wanted to create something a bit more loose and abstract. I usually work on pieces like this when my mind is a mess and I just want a break. It's just nice to work on something where there aren't any rules and I can just go crazy. The inspiration for this piece came from wanting to do something eccentric but also explore a Y2K inspired design. I've been getting back into K-pop recently with groups like New Jeans and Aespa and I know they're not K-pop but also XG, especially XG. Their recent releases for me have been a throwback to the 2000s with that hip-hop and R&B influence which I absolutely love. And their visual direction and music videos have been really refreshing, iterating on that 2000s aesthetic. So it's been great looking towards what they've been doing as sources of inspiration. Aside from that, I wanted to experiment getting separation lines in between a tune shader and blender. I did a few experiments last year on pieces like these ones. They all use the same method, but I haven't been able to nail it to where it's intuitive. I know there's updates coming to the line art modifier and there's probably more optimized methods. I feel like my method is is a bit long-winded, but I'll roughly walk through how I achieve that. So to start, I usually create a concept. This time, because it was typography, I just created some custom type in Procreate. Um, I wanted something dynamic and slanted, so I thought of the word galaxy in the sharp yet cursive style. Once I finalized it in Procreate, I took it into Illustrator and then created the vector paths. So since I'm more used to Illustrator and Bezier curves, this workflow was easier for me because then I could import them as SVGs into Blender afterwards. So once that was done, I took them into Blender and converted the paths into meshes. Then I added a remesh modifier to give it some more geometry and then moved on to shading. I started with the background first creating a gradient and then before I moved on to the type I used the sculpting tools to alter its geometry which would be helpful for the shading. For the main shader on the meshes it's pretty much a basic tune shader except the RGB channels are separated and then combined together with mixed RGB nodes so it looks a little bit more complicated. I constantly adjusted the coverage on the mesh switching to the sculpt tools and this is the same setup that you can find in the flower vase tutorial. The reason I set it up this way was primarily for that line art technique I was experimenting with which I'll talk about later but I went for pinks and purples this time with hints of chartreuse and green for contrast. This workflow is pretty similar to my next level piece so if you wanted to see more of that workflow you can check out that video and I'll put a link below. I added a few more design elements inspired by chrome type. I remember as I was doing it being unsure about it but I just kept it in because it looked interesting. Uh, the shading is the same that you can find on the galaxy mesh as well. I adjusted the background so the colors fit together and I did go through iterations of different shades and eventually landed on something close to the original. Then I moved on to Grease Pencil. If you don't know what Grease Pencil is, it's an object within Blender that allows you to draw and animate 2D in 3D space. This makes it extremely versatile when combining it with other Blender elements. So here I'm using Grease Pencil to add illustrated components like these wispy the elements on the sides, clouds, and stars. And because it has access to a variety of editing tools, it makes it super easy to adjust the strokes to your liking. It's really helpful for achieving a unique depth you can't find strictly with 2D pieces, so I feel this combination of mediums is the best of both worlds. I added more elements to complement that galaxy feel with a few stars and particles, and I eventually changed this afterwards because I didn't like how it looked, but it still had the same idea. The inspiration here was space and hyperpops, so there wasn't really an exact formula to this, I just did whatever lent itself to this look and what I felt looked good to me. Uh, but I created these dynamic lines to help with the composition. I really wanted to emphasize kinetic movement so the overall direction is diagonal um, and I added more mesh and grease pencil elements and layered them on to complete the look. I added this Adam inspired ring and then this line going through the whole composition. I initially wanted these straight speed lines but thought to curve them and then added more parts particles but in different colors. I added more motion lines and also wanted to animate these very simple exploding shooting stars which I did frame by frame in Grease Pencil which was fun. 
I thought that contrast added something unique, so I have the stars on the top and then on the bottom. The core functionality of Grease Pencil is animation, so it has many tools that lend itself to that, like multi-frame editing, onion skinning, and interpolation. After I initially finished it, I wasn't really happy with the result. It kind of felt rushed, so I decided to revisit it. Um, I redid the background and the colors to be slightly purple. I added more details to the clouds, more Grease Pencil elements, and added this spinning galaxy effect in the background um, with the particles using masks. I did end up liking this iteration a lot more than my initial one. Now for the separation lines, uh, this is an exact tutorial because I'm not really sure about this method. So it's kind of messy, but I'll just walk through my steps if anyone wants to try it out since this is pretty experimental. If there is an optimized way to achieve this, feel free to mention it in the comments. The separation lines are only applied onto the meshes and I did this primarily through compositing. So with this method, there is a way to add the separation lines in between colors of the grease pencil elements, uh, but I didn't add them here. I did add them in my Art Nouveau florals piece from last year, so if you want to check that out, I'll put a link below. Uh, the reason I did that was because it lent itself to that style that I was going for at the time. So I'll use the type mesh as an example. Roughly, the shader is a tune shader. It has a BSDF to a shader to RGB, separate color node, and then those leading into constant black and white color ramps to control the coverage and then reconnected together with mix nodes for the different colors. The difference is I have this AOV output node here. I'm honestly not sure what this does, but I think it's used for post-processing somehow. So I have it set to the name main. Then I went to the view layer properties tab, toggled Z, and at the bottom added a new AOV with the same name that I defined in the shader. Now, the important thing is to separate the meshes that have the shader applied with the AOV output into a different render layer. So I grouped the meshes into a collection and created another render layer called mesh. I renamed the original to extra and hid the collection with the meshes. For the new render layer called mesh, I kept everything unhidden. Then I went to the compositing tab and toggled use nodes. The idea here was to have the image underneath and then the lines in between the colors on top. So for the first render layer, I set it to mesh. I brought in a separate color node and connected it to the main AOV created. Then leading from each color, I added dilate a road node set to distance three and subtracted that amount from each of the colors. Again, I don't know if this is right, very experimental, but the idea was to determine the width of the separation lines. Then I added them together with math nodes and used a mix node to bring in the original image and designate a line art color. Then I used a Z combine node to composite this on top of the extra render layer and plugged Z depth for both. And in rendering out, these lines will appear on top of the image. Again, it doesn't feel very efficient, but I'm hoping to refine this sometime. Hopefully this helps in providing some ideas to experiment with. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This was a really fun piece for me to make, but I think I'm going to veer into doing more focused animations, which I'll talk about in future videos. Also, if you want to learn more about Grease Pencil, you can check out my course over at CG Boost called Master Grease Pencil in Blender. There, I'll go everything you need to know to get started with Grease Pencil from basic skills to completing a full scene. I'm currently working on updates and additions, which I hope to get out in the next few months. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. Thanks again and see you guys next time.